Hello everybody, this is Zoe from No Safer Place and I did a poll over on my Twitter yesterday and you guys chose for me to do a book haul. Now, I didn't think I'd be able to do it this month because I thought, oh I don't have that many books but I seem to have got a lot and I have no idea <laughs> that I had so many this month. So, let's get right into it. The first one I got, I got a lot of Goosebumps books. Now, I was a huge fan of Goosebumps when I was little and they had an offer for 10 of them for £10 on the book people. I love the book people so much. They always have such great deals there. And I managed to get 10 of them for 9 .99. I had a 10% code, so it was 8 .99. So it comes with Please Don't Feed the Vampire, Attack of the Graveyard Ghouls, a Shocker on Shock Street, Vampire Breath, The Abominable Snowman of Pasadena, Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes, Return of the Mummy, One Day at Horrorland, which is my favourite, The Haunted Mask, and Night of the Living Dummy. Now, this one used to scare me so much. Obviously, I'm not going to go into detail of them all, but when I was younger these honestly scared me and even when I watched the kids Goosebumps film that came out like last year I was terrified. I just adore Goosebumps and I wanted to reread some of them. The next book I got, I got sent this by Stripes Publishing and it is And Then We Run by Katie Cannon. This is a proof and it comes out on the 6th of April. What I really loved about Stripes is they sent some little goodies to go with the book. I don't know if you can see that, but there was just some lovely stuff with it. So, oh, and some little Polaroids. So thank you so much, Stripe Publishing. I did have the release, the press release somewhere, so I could like <laughs> read you a bit about it. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> I'll just read you like one paragraph of it. Studying archaeology at university is the only way Elliot can imagine achieving his dream of working at the British Museum in London. But for some teenagers, university is not the right path. It definitely wasn't for me. <laughs> what if a more vocational course will get you to where you want to be, but that route goes against the ideas of everyone around you? I can't wait to read this book because I've heard so many good things about it. So thank you Strike Publishing for that. The next three were three sent from Bloomsbury. Bloomsbury are always so generous and always send me a bundle of books every month. So thank you so much, Bloomsbury. This month I got Letters to the Lost by Bridget Camara. Camara? I think that says Camara. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I think it's Camara. <laughs> Would you share your deepest secrets with a stranger? What if that stranger turned out to be the only person who could help you? What if that stranger wasn't a stranger after all? This sounds so good and will probably be the one on my to read list next. The next one was Stargazing for Beginners by Jenny McLachlan. This is such a beautiful cover. I'm not going to read the backs of all of them because there are so much. But if you want to know any more information, just message me on Twitter and I will tell you because I have the press releases for all of them. But look how stunning this cover is. It is literally beautiful. And the next one I got was My Name is Victoria by Lucy Worsley. She is a TV historian and this just sounds amazing. Explore the world of the young Queen Victoria in the captivating second novel for children from popular TV historian. I love history books that are made for a younger audience because I feel like history can be a really boring subject but when it's catered for children it can be so much more exciting. The next one I got, now I don't know if you guys know but I won a competition for Wing Jones by Catherine Webber and I won a pair of the trainers just like this, the Nike ones and they are just amazing, I wear them all the time but it also came with a copy of the book with these sprayed edges and it's just, it's absolutely stunning and it's signed, I just can't wait to read this, this is one of the books that I'm most excited to read because I've heard the most amazing things about this book. It just sounds incredible and Catherine Webber is just so lovely. The next one I got was Beauty and the Beast Lost in a Book by Jennifer Donnelly. Now I've actually read part of this book, I don't know if you can see, but it is amazing. It's kind of like, it's Beauty and the Beast and the story starts the same 
obviously Belle's dad is taken, captured by the beast, and Belle takes his place, so that's kind of all the same. But then Belle gets given the library by the beast, and she finds a magical book that takes her into this different land called Nevermore, and it is just amazing. So I'm only like about a sixth of the way through the book, but it is so good so far, and I absolutely love it. And obviously, because Beauty and the Beast is coming out soon, I think it's a great read. The next book I got sent was, who was it from? I think it might have been from Hodder. I'm not sure. But <clears throat> it's The Ninth Rain by Jen Williams. Now, this book, the cover just totally reminds me of Nevernight. And I bought that book, but I still haven't read it. <laughs> Mainly because it's so big, I feel like this one. But I really do want to try and delve into this one because it just sounds amazing again i have the press release so if you want to know more just let me know and i will tell you the next one this one is so exciting this one is caraval by stephanie garber now if you know me you'll know that i read this book many many months ago but it is absolutely incredible and when they had signed limited edition books available on goldsboro books i had to buy one so it's like this and then Oh, the bookmark just fell out and then I got it signed can you see that look at it it's so beautiful and if you want to see a review of that just go and head over to my blog nosaferplace.co.uk and there is a review on it over there and it is quite a lengthy one because when I love books I can't seem to shut up about them and this is definitely one of those we only have two left now the next one is Dark Maid Dawn by jp smythe now this is a trilogy and i didn't know this was a trilogy i got sent this book on bookbridger and i didn't know it was a trilogy and it came and i was like crap i'm gonna have to read the first two now because this sounds amazing and the cover is just stunning and the fact that samantha shannon's quote is on the front and i absolutely adore her i am so certain that i will love this book and the last one I already have a review of on my channel. It is Happy Mum and Happy Baby by Giovanna Fletcher. As you know, I absolutely adore her. If you haven't seen the video, it's also signed, which was available on WH Smith. And yeah, this is just about her reflection into motherhood so far and her adventures. And just have some funny stories about being a mum, which I really, really enjoyed. So that is it for my book haul this month. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again soon. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel and comment below if you've read any of the books or are wanting to read any this month. Also, I have a competition over on my Twitter, which is twitter.com slash zcollins1994 and it is to win a book of your choice for up to £10 on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description down below. All you have to do is retweet it and leave me a comment of what book you would choose if you won. Thank you all for watching. Bye!